this holy shrine, the gentle sin is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. A pilgrim we do wrong by man too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints of hands that the pilgrim's hands to touch, the palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. My first experiences probably came through watching uh, all of the many film and uh, and recorded stage versions that are out there. Um, we of course studied it a little bit in high school and then um, when I was a senior I got to uh, be in it. I was Benvolio at the ripe old age of 17. Other than our contractually obligated uh, stated mission of doing all of the works of Shakespeare, I thought that we had a very nice um, ensemble at this particular point in time to do this play. It seemed like uh, all of the talent that we sort of had at our immediate disposal was very well suited to the piece. I first got to know this play more seriously when I was um, studying at BADA, the British American Drama Academy uh, in Oxford. We were studying Shakespeare in my Shakespeare class. Uh, our group was assigned Romeo and Juliet. That's where I first fell in love with this character and how strong she is, how strong-willed and powerful she is, um, and decided that I wanted to play her. I think that one of our one of our strong points is that we've always been a very youthful company, uh, and that continues to be the case. And um, a lot of people have a sort of stodgy, uh, old-world European view of this play in their heads. Uh, a lot of pantaloons and rapiers and, and all that kind of stuff. And we're taking a very kind of contemporary, grounded, modern um, eye toward the material. On top of that, these sort of themes of uh, class warfare and conflicts being passed down from the older generation to the younger generation seemed uh, particularly timely at this uh, specific point. As far as this play and its relation to the time, this play is very much about um, love and, and, and the importance um, of love over hatred in a way and, and how hatred destroys and, and love can build. Sometimes it takes tragedy to know it's important.